This was all flat surface until about a week ago. The land was softened by a combination of heavy rains and seismic activity causing the earth to split. Farmlands were separated down the middle and water supplies were cut. This stretch of highway had to be repaired twice. Now motorists are concerned another section could crumble again and notion the government is quick to dismiss. We have put uh, people to be on watch out and uh, we have put uh, safety measures that any time the road is, uh, they see anything uh, developing, they close the road immediately. But the danger is creeping inland. 77-year-old Eliud Njuguna woke up one morning to find a visible fault line cutting through his farmhouse. He was so afraid he'd lose his home of 20 years that he demolished it in the hope that he could rebuild it on safer ground in the future. I had to demolish my house. The crack reached the house. There is a risk that the house will be swallowed and all my property destroyed. Now we don't have anywhere to stay. We are being housed by our neighbor. But where to go is another question. The crack just keeps expanding inland and the state is still mapping out potential risk areas. No one knows where the earth will open up next. Now, this crack stretches for several kilometers on either side of the highway and some parts are pretty scary, like here, which is wider than 20 meters and other sections which are so deep you cannot see the bottom with the naked eye. And yet beyond this visual spectacle, scientists are warning that something much more profound could be happening underneath. According to geologists, these are early signs that the African continent is pulling apart from the Rift Valley. It's a valley of the earth that has been um, moving apart for millions of years. And as a result, there's a lot of zones of weaknesses that have developed here. They are in terms of fissures, in terms of cracks, in terms of fault lines. We, we cannot say that the whole area is not going to be affected and we should move. But what is important right now is to do a thorough study and find out where are these weaknesses. Scientists say eventually these cracks will split Africa in two over the next few million years. But in the immediate future, the people who live along the Rift Valley hope they won't be sitting on any fault lines when the next one crumbles. Ferdinand Omondi, BBC News, in Kenya's Rift Valley.